coming to unit 1 transient analysis in for second year ECE electrical engineering subject according to R20 regulations it is the chapter 1 or unit 1 is transient analysis transient analysis according to R20 regulation second year ECE electrical engineering subject you have also electrical engineering lab also what is meant by transient what is meant by transient state you know that whenever person situation or condition is changed sudden shock given to the person they may go to transient condition trans condition that means whatever be the state you have that state may be changes according to the situation trans condition you know that similarly transient analysis transient in the sense when a circuit switches from one condition to another condition suppose the circuit is not connected to any source if the circuit is not connected to any source then some energy may be stored or may not be stored those circuit behaves in transient condition when it connected to a supply source a transition is due to change in current or change in voltage across the sources what is meant by transient transient is this condition between steady state to another steady state suppose inductor is there inductor is connected to before it is connected to supply some energy may be there may not be there suddenly if you connect the source or supply for this inductor it may changes to another state finally it will come to steady state between one state to another state the inductor may suffer due to transient the transient analysis is the analysis of the circuits during the time it changes from one steady state to another steady state condition the transition is due to change in the applied source or change in circuit element circuit element if you change or source if you change transition will happen transient analysis will reveal reveals how the current and voltage are changing during the transient period it is very important to know that when suddenly the current or voltage are changed for the any circuit any element what happened to that element that is transient response we will consider during transient period what is meant by transient period from one state to another state if it is changes it is transient period the currents and voltages of the element changes from one value to another value current i and voltage v also changes that is called transient period it is analysis is called transient analysis transient analysis especially for circuit elements passive elements inductor and capacitor the transient analysis will happen source free transient and without sources how the transient appear in the inductor and resistor will discuss later normally the resistor resistance value will not changes whenever the source is connected or not suppose if it is a 100 ohm resistor 100 ohms will not alter if you connect the source but these elements l and c capacitor and inductor the elements inductance value and capacitance value and energy stored in this inductor and reactance all will be changes due to change in source that means whenever r l parameters elements are there in any circuit it may suffer from transient analysis transients suppose uh, what is meant by transient transient is the state of the element from steady state to another steady state it is the studies before maybe it may be steady state when you supply the apply the voltage sources for this rl circuit a transient state will happen that means this is the transients which are occur in rl circuit after that it will reach to steady state between two states there is a transient period transient analysis of these transients is nothing but transient analysis of rl circuit after this transient period again it will go to steady state that is important between two steady states 
a transient state will be present in circuit elements not only circuit elements in systems also the value of current or voltages which are applied for any circuit that depends on type of circuit element and its property before knowing the transient analysis we must know what is resistor how it behaves what is inductor how it behaves similarly what is capacitor how it behaves we have to know the resistor opposes the current you know that resistance property will be the resistor it opposes the current it dissipates the power in the form of heat so it cannot store energy the energy will not be stored in resistor which may be consist of assume that a resistor or suppose the resistance value is 10 ohm it won't change the value of resistance and the energy cannot be stored it dissipates in the form of heat therefore due to resistance the transients will not appear but the energy storing elements are there inductor and capacitor those will due to these elements a transient state will appear that is transient analysis we have to do the value of resistance will not change i told you suppose if it has 100 ohms it only 100 ohms in the past 0 minus in the present 0 or future 0 plus time period the value of resistance will not be changes that means resistor does not alter its conditions resistor does not alter the parameters transients mathematical relationship defined by r equal to v by i i equal to v by r that is according to ohm's law we can know that for any resistor v equal to i r similarly for inductor inductor is a element inductor is a stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic field the rate of flow of current in the circuit and opposes it is inductor is a passive tau terminal device which opposes the rate of flow of current when the current is flowing in the inductor it tries to decrease the current that means hence transient occurs in that circuit inductor if there is a change in stored energy inductor due to the due to the energy stored in inductor transient will appear because it opposes the current and the energy stored will be changes in inductor due to the energy storage element property due to energy storage property only transient appear due to inductor the inductor if you consider inductor before connecting the inductor in the circuit some energy may be stored that may that means before connecting that is zero minus before connecting the value of resistance will not change in the past zero minus present is assume that zero future is 0 plus 0 0.5 0 0.5 second 0 0.5 0 0.1 second like that here we are considering the time past is 0 minus and present is 0 and future is 0 plus the mathematical relationships important for previously in FEC you studied this fundamentals of electric circuits what is inductor and what is capacitor all this in FEC mathematical relationship of defining r is v equal to ir simple relationship but inductor what is inductor inductor stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic field and opposes the current change in current when the current increasing in inductor tries to decrease hence transient occurs in the circuit having inductor as there is a change in stored energy because the inductor always stores some energy in the form of magnetic field during circuit operation it changes the energy hence transients will appear if you consider inductor i of i l of t is the inductor current and the inductor having the inductance l and v l of t if you give the supply since we know that v equal to l di by dt this is the voltage and uh, voltage relationship of the inductor v equal to l di by dt v l of t equal to if you substitute here with respect to time if you consider v l inductor voltage is v l of t equal to l d i by d t l but i is i l assume that i l is the inductance current similarly i l of t you can write from this equation i l of t equal to 1 by l integral minus infinity to time period t because inductor always stores the energy minus infinity that means 0 minus past is 0 minus 
minus infinity to time period t if you connect the supply based on that uh, current will flow that is the equation we obtained vl of t dt we can write initially initial condition is il 0 plus initial condition of the inductor is il 0 plus plus 1 by l integral 0 to t if you remove the minus infinity we can consider initial condition of current is il 0 plus plus 1 by l integral 0 to t vl of t dt where il 0 plus is initial condition initial condition it is capacitor because transients appear due to capacitor only capacitor stores the energy in the form of electrostatic field electric field it is stores hence already stored energy is there in the capacitor therefore there occur a transients will appear because of this stored energy in the capacitor assume that capacitor is connected to a dc voltage source a current through capacitor is ic of t then capacitor we know that ic of t equal to capacitor equations i equal to c dv by dt you know capacitor current through capacitor i equal to c dv by dt icv t dv by dt you can consider i of ic of t equal to capacitor current equal to c dv by dt therefore we see from this equation vc of t equal to 1 by c minus infinity to t ic of t dt if you want these equations how can you understand these equations how we obtain i equal to c dv by dt because capacitance principle q equal to cv current equal to already in fec i we told fec i equal to change in current change in electric charge is nothing but current i equal to dq by dt i equal to dq by dt we can replace then current for capacitor i equal to dq by dt but according to principle of capacitance q equal to cv we can substitute here in place of cv we can substitute q in place of q we can substitute cv i equal to c dv by c is the constant capacitance of the uh, capacitor is constant hence c dv by dt we can obtain Therefore, we can write from this equation Vc of t equal to 1 by c integral minus infinity to t ic of t dt. Again, we, if you consider initial condition, capacitor having its voltage Vc 0 plus plus 1 by c integral 0 to t similarly inductor. First, we consider minus infinity to t. If you want initial condition Vc of 0 plus, you can, you can draw. These are the basic things required for transient analysis. Next class, we will start another topic in Unit 1, Transient Analysis, RLC Free, RLC free Circuit, Free Source Circuit, RL is connected without any source. If the source is removed, then Source Free RL Circuit. If the resistor and inductor are connected in series, without any source if you remove the source source free rl circuit how it behaves what is transient analysis we'll discuss later